week, go tell your mom, happy Mother's Day. And make sure you do something special for her today. That's right, guys. Moms are so special. Uh, make sure you give them a big hug and tell them how much you appreciate them. Yes. All right? Yes. Now, let's go ahead and pray, okay? Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for our time together today. Help us to learn more about you. And uh, we just thank you that we're going to have an awesome time today. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Yes. All right. Well, it's time for core values. Can anybody, uh, well, does anybody know where Joy is? Can we find her? Do you know where, he, where she is? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think she's doing? I'm not sure. Let's go see. Hi, guys. You found me. I'm eating the snacks that we all used to enjoy. We have Fruit Loops, chips, cookies, graham crackers. What were your favorite snacks? Now, let's go to core values. What's core value number one? Love God. And why do we love God? Because God is love and He first loved us. What's core value number two? Love people. And why do we love people? Because God loves all people. What's core value number three? Do your best. And why do we do our best? Because God does the rest. And what's core value number four? Have fun. And why do we have fun? Because God gives us joy. You guys, welcome to church. Today we are talking about living a life of worship. But before we do that, why don't we go and do some praise and worship? Let's go. identity in the things or the people that are around us. You know, we can find our identity in our friends that we hang out with, or maybe it's the sports we play or in our ability to perform. Anything that we're really great at can easily become our identity. But you know, the problem with that is that the minute that that changes or it's taken away from us, we lose our identity. The Bible actually tells us that we're made in the image of God. 
We're made to love and to worship Him. And because God never changes, our identity is safe and secure in Him. And so we can worship Him from that truth today, knowing that we are who we are because of who Christ is. Worshiping God isn't what we do. It's a part of who we are. So let's worship Him today, knowing that we know who we are because of who Christ is. Sing this with me tonight. You show me every breath I breathe is from you. Every fingerprint part of you. I am yours from start. I don't know if you are worshiping alone or you are worshiping with someone. Regardless, go grab other people in your house. Wherever you are, just go ahead and grab them, sit them down, we're about to get into the show. But before we do that, I've got a question for you. It's a would you rather, I love would you rathers. Would you rather have two extra arms or have four more hours in the day? So think about it, you can do more with two extra arms or with four extra hours. So do you wanna do more faster or have more time to do more things? Uh, that's a pickle, I'm not sure. What do you think? So I don't know what you said. I think I would choose two extra arms. That would be my choice. But then the decision is like, what do I do with the extra abilities? What do I do with the extra time that I would have? Let's go to Ricky and Jamie and find out what they would do. Ricky, what are your hands doing? Oh, these aren't my hands. 
my hands. I'm Jamie. Hey, let's get serious. Okay, but only for one minute. So, priorities, we all have them. Mm -hmm. I have some, you have some. We all worship something, but not everything should be worshiped. Lots of distractions get in the way when it comes to living a life of worship. So the question is, what do you worship? Oh. When I see a tree with leaves. Mm, soulful. I just can't help but worship you, tree, Whoa. with your Do you taste. worship trees? I think it's pretty obvious. I worship my sick gains. I, too, worship the gains, but all I got is an eight-pack. Crunch! I got a cell phone. I got a cell phone. I got a cell phone. Hey, 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 hey. I... Kind of have a problem with the gram, you know? Mm. Well, for me, it's a little more simple. It's just my parents. You know, their, their, their approval, what, what, what they want, what they like, what they need. Do your parents like sports? I'm such a big fan of sports. I love watching sports. Text, call, tweet, post, call again. Hallelujah, I worship the church. I like to sing my music, like to sing it loud. If, I, if I'm not at church, then I must be sleeping, is what I say. The tuba. What was the question? I love money! I'm just saying I like to look good so that the girls like me. I also just really like to spend a ton of time with my friends. Like, I hang out all the time with my friends. Well, I'm, I think I worship the right things. I mean, on the weekend, you know, I go to church, I sing the songs, I do what I think, you know— that God would want me to do. I think I worship God, but man, when I go home during the week, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. I play a lot of games. I, uh, I mean, that's kind of where the time goes. Funny gifts, sad gifts. We go to every single service. That's right. Hallelujah. And sometimes we're sitting in all those services so long. I, I, I gotta say, my my hiney kind of hurts. Hey. Don't say that. I go to church so much that I know what words are right to say and which ones are not right to say. Heine's not on that list. Look at these spots. Look at them. Look at them. I mean, look at them. Listen, Geraldine, you're beautiful, but we should be worshiping our great God, not ourselves. So what are you worshiping? Because I promise you, there's something that you're giving your best to. There's something that you're giving most of your time to, most of your thought life to, most of your energy to, right? That you elevate above everything else. Is it your possessions? Is it your image? None of those things are bad. I'm just proving the point that we understand what it's like to worship without music. So what do you worship, right? And if you're having a hard time figuring it out, I would challenge you to start by figuring out what do your hands spend the most time doing? I know it sounds crazy, but like, what do you hold the most carefully? What do you spend the most time with in your hands? Is it your phone? Are you constantly on Instagram? I know that's it for me. Um, is it what you're typing most often? Like, what words are you typing? Is it your school books? Is it your grades? That It has to be a certain grade, and that's the thing that you spend the most of your energy and give your best to. If you're having a hard time figuring out what you're worshiping, I would just start by checking your hands and seeing if maybe you're accidentally worshiping something more than you thought you were. Look who joined us! It's Leslie and Jane! We heard you might need some help with your cooking challenge today. <gasps> cooking challenge? Yeah. And we came to lend a hand or two. Oh, okay. It's the Not My Arms Challenge. Follow the recipe to create some tasty desserts. Mmm. <laughs> the catch is you can't use your own arms. What? Hey. Oh. Ricky, prepare. Yeah. All right. So you, you... Oh. You're like a big red hot. Yeah. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Does his head need to be no, inside here this too? Is how it works. Is this wrong? <laughs> Welcome to the Loop Show Cooking Show. Yay! We are going to. I'm just going to grab this card right in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Um. Mm. This is, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Step one, spread on the sauce. Yep, yeah, I think, the this, sauce. I think this red thing is the sauce. There it is. You know, um, I'm just gonna dig in really deep into this this bucket of sauce. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna bring it right over to the top. But look at the technique that I'm using. That technique is great, yeah, absolutely. Yes. The just entire bowl has been emptied out. So just spreading it all over. It's gonna yeah. flip this over. This is a splatter um, technique that you might have seen back in the early 80s. Flip it over one more 80s. time. So step two is add the toppings. Oh. Uh, we have some jelly oh, yeah. bean yeah. toppings yeah. right over here that we're just gonna sprinkle on. Just Great. throw it on there. Yeah, Great. absolutely. You this don't is... need that spoon. Hey, yeah. Jimmy, I'm gonna catch this in my mouth. Look. Oh. Uh, oh, right, almost. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Almost. Oh. oh no. All right. Oh, Ricky, here oh, you go. Thank you. That is delicious. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I just, Jamie, yeah. You're doing a great job. No, you're excellent oh, work. Sorry, I couldn't decide between a fist bump or a high five. Jamie, you have a special topping over on your I side. I do. I love coconut so much. Oh, here, let's just put a little bit more. It's kind of like a, a Christmas theme that we have going mm -hmm. on. We've got yeah. some snow. Yeah, on our Jamie, pizza. Can, you, can you give me something? I'd love to help yes. out. Yes. Oh, right. I'm so sorry, Ricky. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. then we throw it in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah just, just go ahead and cut straight down the middle. We're just going to make a bunch of shapes. All right, Jimmy, go ahead and, uh, and take the first bite. Okay, wonderful. Oh. Yeah. What there. do you think of it? Wait. It's so good. Go ahead, take a bite. I think I might have some on my face, thank, but. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's very doughy. Oh, I, I like the you. crust. Mm -hmm. That's so, it's really good. Thanks for uh, watching our Loop Show to Cooking Show. Yeah. Uh, next time we will be uh, making a lasagna oh, um, out fun. of toothpaste and orange juice. Okay, that, those right bananas, here. I have to Got peel it. them first. But. You're right on it, because step one is to peel the bananas and uh, put them in the bowl. Step one, peel the bananas. Now, as you can see here, I'm peeling from the bottom because this, this is the down. right way to peel them. I'm going to grab it. a banana, too, actually. That, um, that's beautiful. Excuse me, Leslie, did you just throw a piece of banana I'm at sorry, me? my bad. That um, was... we, get, we need to put them in a bowl, wow. though. Okay. Put them in, do you have a bowl? Uh, I have. I think they're like right oh. in front of you. Could you pass us a bowl? So those are bowls. Yeah, what is step two? Um, we're gonna add scoops of ice cream. Wait, did to we our put bowl. the banana in the bowl? Oh yeah, we did. Mine we did that. It's such a good so, moisturizer for your face, though. I heard. I don't know. If have you, you ever tried this? I already did cold. mine this morning, so I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah. oh gosh! Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm yeah. actually. Oh. You can listen? I get some of that? Well, first we're gonna, we're gonna do our spice. James, move your hands. See? No offense, but go. the hardest thing for me to do is share with. Here, you got it? You got well, don't, it? Don't Get pour it! it on Get me. it! Ah, it's it! Melted all this ice cream. Oh, wow. Yeah, right there. Just, just, oh my goodness. That's amazing. Leslie, did you see how big of a scoop I just got? Yeah, that's a lot. Shake, cute. shake, shake it up. Oh, yeah. No, that's the boat. Really for me, the ice the sorry, the whipped cream is more of like for flair. 
okay. rather than flavor. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like some chocolate syrup? Um, well, almost. Yeah, I, I'm Hold ready Hold your hand now. out. Hold your hand out. Well, okay. You yep. You don't act like you can't on. see what Give I'm pointing me a at. Don't Here. act like Here. you don't know. Here. You know. Catch Move, it. show. You, you know I can't catch trying. things. Ah! Almost. I almost had. Ah! Uh, no, no. Don't you do it. Leslie! What? You can't take my umbrella! Look. You see this? Yours? Everybody? You see? Bro. You see the beautimistness? Nope, all about this. The boat oh. has to float, yes, Leslie! It's floating. The let the boat float! float. Oh! I'm gonna do a Here, let me help you get that out of your mouth! Oh, I'm, so yeah. I'm so concerned! I'm so concerned! Wow, that actually tastes really good. I want another bite, though. Okay. Can I get, can I get a bite of the ice cream without the umbrella? When we talk about this word worship at church, it's really about one thing. It's about making God's priority our priorities. Let's look at a few stories from the Bible of the way people were using their hands to worship God. You've heard of the disciples. Well, when Jesus showed up in their lives, they were already at work. They were fishermen. They were literally there with ropes, pulling in fish in their hands. And Jesus said, come follow me. You see, when Jesus called the disciples, they weren't just sitting around waiting for a savior to come call them. They were already working. They were already using their hands to make a livelihood. They were fishermen. Their hands were full of nets. It was their lifestyle. It was their priority. They did this because their lives depended on it. And yet when Jesus called them, they let that go. They, they made what Jesus wanted a priority and said, Jesus, however you want to use my hands in your kingdom, I'll go do that because I know that you will do way more with my hands than I ever could on my own. Their hands healed, their hands wrote, their hands taught, their hands literally brought people into relationship with God when they made space for Jesus to work in their lives. Or take the kid who just had his lunch, five loaves, two fish, and he gave it to Jesus, and Jesus took that out of his hands and fed thousands, all because he was willing to surrender what he had to see what God could do, way more than he ever could on his own. And what about Jesus? He could have chosen to stay popular. He could have chosen to just be comfortable. He could have had his fame. He could have been in the news and just been a big name during his time, but guess what? He said, not my will, not my priority, but God, whatever you want, that's what I'll do. And he changed the course of all of our lives forever. Or even the early church, after Jesus had gone back to heaven, they literally said, it's not about me and my priorities, but it's about all of us as believers. They took all of their possessions and provided for the needs of those around them. That was their act of worship. All of those people, they worshiped by the life that they lived. It wasn't about the singing. It was about what they were making a priority in their life. Story after story of people dropping their comfortable routines in order to say, God, what do you want to do? Because I know it's going to be more than I can do on my own. If I literally make space for you to move, I know you'll show up. And I know you're going to do more than I could ever pull off on my own. My hands were seriously freezing when I reached into the ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I was wiping on you the whole time. Oh uh, yeah, thank you, because you wiped it on my face and then my face was freezing <laughs> too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, y'all, it is so <laughs> easy to fill our lives with more stuff. Mm -hmm. More technology. More accomplishment. More approval. And the problem with that is it gets so overwhelming and crowded and more stuff can never love you back. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Like when we take our focus off God, we're never fully satisfied. Yeah, so what fills your hands? What demands your time? You want a full life, a sense of purpose, focus on your priorities. A life of worship fully focused on God is life at its fullest. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. Yes. Oh, Thanks for having us. This was so yeah. fun. Good. Do you guys want to <laughs> sign off with us? Yeah. Yes. Yay. Yes. All right. On the count of three. One, two, three. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the ride. ride. Oh, it's going to be yeah. so sticky. Yeah. Oh, it's so sticky. For so many of us, we've been searching for hope, for value and significance, but we've honestly been looking in all of the wrong places. But God is waiting for you to come to Him to offer you everything that you've ever wanted and needed. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now and we just thank you for the fact that you are good, that you love us so much, that when we come to you, you are there waiting for us, and that it's through you, through a relationship with you that we try and 
true value, that we find true significance, that we find hope. And so God, I pray that each of us, we would take this seriously, that we would stop searching in the wrong places and that we would start searching for you because you are the source of life, of hope, of truth, of every good thing that there is. And so God, I pray that we would learn to come to you first because you love us still praying today. I know there are many of us who, if we're honest, right, we've been searching for these different things in all the wrong places, and every time we come up short. But at the same time, God has been searching for you. God has been looking for you to have a relationship with you, so much so that 2,000 years ago, God came down to earth in the person of Jesus so that he could make things right between you and him, so that we as human beings could have a relationship with God. This Jesus, he lived a perfect life. He died a brutal death on the cross for our sins so that anybody who puts their trust in him could be made new. And that's why you're here today, because you have been searching for life. You've been searching for meaning, and God has been searching for you. And today is the day that you accept the relationship that he's offering, that you experience what it really means to live life and life to the full because Jesus came for you. He wants a relationship with you. And that those of you that are here today and you would say, yes, that's why I'm here because I want a relationship with God. I wanna turn from my past and turn towards him. I want to give my life to Christ. If that's you, simply lift your hand right now. All over the room, people are making that choice to say yes to Jesus today. And we're gonna pray with you. So please repeat this prayer after me. Dear Jesus, forgive me. I'm turning from my sin. I'm turning towards you. I need your love. I need your grace. I need your mercy. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, people, make some noise, cheer, celebrate, because that's the most important choice you can make in your entire life. But please don't stop there, right? Talk to somebody, tell your friend, tell your small group leader, tell your parents about that choice you made so they can help you understand what it really means to follow Jesus today. You know, even just thinking about some of you asking Jesus into your heart for the first time makes me just like, makes me just want to burst. I'm so excited for you guys. I'm so excited. For our next step, uh, I, I want us to consider something. You probably, if you're anything like me, have a lot more extra time on your hands. Uh, I want you to tithe that extra time. Like, think about it. Like, tithing is where you give 10% of what God has given you back to God. So how would you tithe your time? If you have 10 hours in the day, use an hour to either love God or love people. Like figure out what that would look like for you. Just an idea, first of all, is the YouVersion Bible app has Bible plans that we can read. One of them that we made specifically for like this whole series on, on living a life of worship is called Live a Life of Worship. So go into the YouVersion Bible app or bible.com and search Live a Life of Worship. Uh, and we're gonna be doing that together. Invite your friends to it. Do it with your parents or something. So that's it for me. Now we're gonna go into Discussion questions, they're, they're on screen right now, right? You can't see me? Yeah, I thought so. Wicked rude, discussion questions. Wicked rude. Well, did you enjoy the lesson today, guys? I hope so. Yes. What does a life of worship look like? Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, and mind and love your neighbors as yourself. That's right, guys. God loves us so very much. And so he wants us to love him with everything within us, okay? All right, let's pray for the week ahead. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for our time together. Thank you for the lesson uh, of showing and teaching us that uh, we should love you with everything within us. And when we love you, we can love others because our identity is in Jesus Christ. So we thank you for the week ahead. Bless us and our families. Keep us safe in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Here at WLCC, kids, kids rule. rule. And happy Mother's happy Day, Happy Mother's moms. Day. Have a great day. Bye-bye.